Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is MSA. Um, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I figured since a lot of you guys are at home with not a lot to do, I would come on here and create some content. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite skincare and beauty products. And I hope that this serves as a guide for the next time you go out shopping and you're wondering what to buy. Please don't forget to drop me a comment down below if you've tried any of these products or if you have any other recommendations, I'd love to know. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's start with skincare. And one of my favorite products of late is the Simple Cleansing Oil. This stuff is really good. It's very affordable. You can find this in most drugstores. And I triple cleanse my skin because I wear a lot of makeup. So first of all, I'll go in with the Nivea eye makeup remover. So I put that on a pad, put that all over my face. Then I use this and I just rub it all over my face and rinse it off. And it traps the majority of the makeup. So by the time I do my last step, which is cleansing again, I really don't have a lot of makeup on my face. So it's excellent, great price. You can find this everywhere um, or in any drugstore really. And I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. So this is a good one. Moving on to a moisturizer. This is by Dr. Jart. It's the Ceramidin Cream. As you can see, I'm almost out. I need to go buy a new one. That's how much I like this. I have oily combination skin and I found in the winter months I was getting dry patches. So I did a quick online search and this was what came up as the number one recommended cream. So I bought this from Amazon and I've not been disappointed. It has a a very um, it's thick consistency but it doesn't leave my my skin feeling greasy it just leaves it feeling really balanced and it's interesting because it's actually recommended more for very very dry skin but I have oily combination skin and I'm completely fine with this so I highly recommend it um, a little bit goes a long way this has lasted me about two months so yeah get it it's good next is an eye cream this is the retinol no the rock retinol correction eye cream now I know that in the States you can buy this at drugstores but here in the UK you have to order it I ordered it from eBay and it's really good it does take about two to three months until you notice the difference I have noticed that the fine lines under my eyes are less pronounced when I've been using this it's probably the best eye cream I've used so far and I've been trying a lot of eye creams probably over the last four years but this one definitely makes my under eye area look the best and the reviews of this is also really, really good. Then moving on to sunscreen, and I know you're probably thinking, why is such a melanated girl like me talking about sunscreen? But actually it's really important, no matter how dark you are, your skin is still susceptible to damage by the sun. And sunscreen is one of the number one products to prevent aging. So I found this one in Kiehl's one day, and it is the um, Ultralight UV Defense. I think that's the name ultralight daily UV defense it's super light and it sometimes feels that you're laying on product after product after product before you put on makeup but this is super light it doesn't add any oil in terms of a white cast which a lot of dark skin people struggle with with sunscreen when this one goes on there is a very slight cast but once it absorbs it goes away so it does not leave you feeling like a ghost so I was pleasantly surprised when I tried this and I usually buy the 60 mils, it retails for 38 pounds and um, 60 mils lasts me maybe up to five months so it's really worth it and you really don't need a lot so I use this every single day um, before I leave the house so it's really recommended next let's move on to more makeup items so I'm going to talk about this brush cleanser by Makeup Revolution now I clean my brushes probably every two weeks and I found that this is best for beauty blenders. I wasn't so happy with the way it cleaned my brushes but with beauty blenders, wow, this really gets out all the makeup. I think you need to buy this online. They don't really sell them in the stores but I'll put the links down below. It's really, really good. Right, makeup, what should I start with first? I will start with this, Huda Beauty. This is the Kunafa Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. They have such long names. <laughs> Anyways, love this. Um, I bought this probably, I don't know, I bought this last summer. And you can see, I've still got so much there. This could easily last you a whole year. 
I have stopped using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder ever since I bought this. This is a superior product. It's really finely milled, um, leaves you looking flawless. It lasts all day. It's a really good value for money. I think Huda Beauty, I'm yet to try a product from Huda Beauty that I have not liked. They're a really, really good brand, so really recommend this one. And then moving on to a face product. This is the Revolution Patricia Bright Collaboration. This is their um, Dust Till Dawn palette. Let me open it up and show it to you. So you have got a blush, you've got a bronzer and then a highlighter. You can see how much I've been using this bronzer ever since I've gotten it. I use it pretty much every day. It's the perfect color for dark skinned girls like me because bronzers are something that a lot of makeup brands don't do and especially in when you go drugstore shopping you generally will not find a bronzer so I'm so happy that Patricia did this it's filling a, a gap in the market and ever since I've been using it I hardly contour anymore I just bronze I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can appreciate my bronzeness but um, yeah it, it, it's really good love it all right so last on the list it's the Huda Beauty, I think these are the matte bullet lipsticks, I think that's what they're called. Anyway, they're matte lipsticks, love them, absolutely love them. Now this one, I'll start with the pink one, this is called Payday. You can see I'm out, I actually need to go and buy another one, that's how much I like it. It's a perfect pink, I wear this to work, I wear this when I'm going out and I love the pigment of it and the feel. It doesn't dry out my lips because a lot of matte lipsticks will dry out your lips. It's super pigmented. Um, I just can't describe it, but it's probably one of the best lipsticks I've matte lipsticks I've tried so far. Let me swatch this color for you. Oh, I've already got some other color on my. I don't know what that was. Anyway, I'll swatch it over so you can appreciate this color. It's um, super flattering. I think most skin tones can wear it. And let me. Swatch the red. This is El Cinco de Mayo. Wow, this red is beautiful. I found that since I started using this red, I hardly ever reach for my MAC Ruby Woo, which is like the classic blue toned red. This one, I think I prefer this one, to be honest with you. And I think most people can wear these shades. What I do with the red lipstick, I pair it with the MAC lip liner called Night Moth, and it gives you a nice ombre um, lip look I guess so yeah highly recommend these so that's it actually I didn't actually have that many products but anyways I hope you learned something I hope you are inspired and I hope that next time you go out shopping you try some of these products I will put all the links down below and yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment and hopefully I'll create another video for you guys soon all right bye